and what did you like about how the defense played today? Uh, well, we executed to the best of our abilities. Uh, like I just said, they came out with something that was, um, you know, more difficult or, you know, something that we didn't expect. So uh, really with the adjustments that we made, uh, I think that was the best aspect of uh, playing um, in our defense today. So. And from a couple of our media members, what's your mentality and what drives you while you're out on the field? Do you feel like you can make a difference on every play? Um, <laughs> uh, you know, being a hum humble guy, but I, I believe I can make <laughs> make a play every make a, you know, a play every play, but, you know, I can't do anything without my teammates, can't do anything without our, our coaches. So uh, first and foremost, you know, uh, all praises to them. So, Did it take a while in that first quarter to adjust to finally get a chance to play at game speed and chase down the ball? Uh, it did take a, take a long time. You know, we haven't competed since, you know, December or so. Um, so, you know, just get acclimated to the game, getting – um, you know, adjusting yourself to, um, you know, the crowd, the fans, adjusting yourself to uh, something that's new, you know, wearing masks from the sidelines and uh, things like that. Everything comes into play when you're talking about, you know, uh, you know, adjusting to the, the new, you know, norm. So. Can you walk us through your sack on Bryce and how well the blitz call worked? Yeah. Uh, praises to the D-line, of course, uh, for setting it up. Uh, you know, it's just a normal kind of blitz. Um, the D-line sets it up and I go under. Um, the coach coach kind of told me he was going to call it kind of before, beforehand. And we're going to get that, that play in this this um, this down. So, uh, you know, praise to the D-line again and, uh, you know, execution. And now about a few of your teammates from Hayden Adams of the Observer. What did you see from Marist at the Buck in his first significant defensive action today? Um, with me being on the other side of the field, I didn't really see, see much, but um, I did see a couple of plays uh, from the sidelines, but uh, Maris um, executed. Um, he didn't, you know, had a few mistakes here and there, but that's what you just expect, you know, uh, out of a, you know, newly fresh starter, uh, his first game, just getting adjusted, making sure. Um, the most important thing for Maris today was just to play 100%. Um, you know, we didn't need him to be per perfect today. We didn't need him to be some outstanding player um, as he continues to get adjusted. I think he'll be a good player, though. For and from John Bryce of Irish Sports Daily, how much of what we saw Isaiah Foskey do today have you seen in camp and practice? Foskey, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, good player, big big player, um, fresh legs. He, he He's truly truly a ball hawk, I, I believe, a ball hawk on the D-line, um, you know, willing to get to the quarterback uh, with his strength and everything. Uh, he's a player that's locked in. He's, he's not afraid, um, you know, of this game and the speed of it. Uh, before the game, I, I, I gathered the defense and told him, you know, we don't have time for nerves today. We don't have time for nerves. We don't have time for butterflies. And uh, Foskey is a guy that, you know, doesn't buy into, you know, oh, I'm nervous. You know, I'm slow down. You know, he's a guy that's always ready to go, and we appreciate that.